progress. I talked about products before. Progress and time. Brothers and sisters, there is time for everything. In Genesis chapter 1, the Bible says, God created in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. If you study that scripture very closely, you will see that creation was not done in that beginning. That scripture means in the beginning God processed the heaven and the earth. It's a process. Because creation started in verse 2. In chapter 2. God processed the heaven and the earth. Learned to be on that process. Don't be in haste. You can't have progress when you are not processed. In this world, everything we consume was processed. You can't eat without process. And the progress needs time. The question this morning, where are you running to? Where are you running? Why are you running? Have you processed yourself? Or you want to be like Charles? This is why we inherit people problem. You want to be like Charles. You never knew that Charles had HIV. You are inheriting people's problem. You don't want to be on that preparation. On that progress. Uh, process. You just want to jump into success. Right from the beginning. God arranged the whole world. And set up system. How things should run. That is why no matter who you are as a woman you must carry pregnancy and you must push you must give birth god will not say because you are a prophet wife the baby will just jump out of your mouth no you must push is a system right from the beginning of his creation am i talking to somebody here processing is not so free because you are on that process for seven years doesn't mean you are suffering. You are the one seeing it that way. The scripture, the man of God quoted us last week, Exodus, uh, 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 Genesis chapter 33. The Bible said Jacob left his father's house and ran to his uncle's house, labor. And serve him seven years, 14 years just to marry one wife. Process. Look at Igbo's life. That is why you see Igbo, they are always on top. You see, all of you are protesting. Now, Igbo say they're not the protest. Now, food, then they chop. Why? They serve. They know what service is all about. They know what preparation is all about. Igbo people. No matter what is going on in Nigeria, Igbo are not suffering. Why? They are producer. Am I talking to somebody here? You are on that process doesn't mean you are suffering. No process, no progress. No progress, no products. Whatever you think you are pregnant of, brothers and sisters, always remember there is labor is waiting for you. That doesn't mean you are suffering. You need time. Be patient in whatever you are doing. Let me listen to you. Proverbs 16, verse 1. Proverbs 16, verse 1. One. 
the preparation of the hearts in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord preparation matters how prepared you are it doesn't matter your dream your vision in life is how prepared you are that will determine how far you will go how prepared you are that will determine how far you go in life how prepared are you as a person that thing you are praying for you are asking god for are you prepared for it or you just want it you said you need promotion are you aware promotion come sometime with destruction are you aware sometime promotion come with affliction are you prepared for the promotion or you just want it to impress your neighbor that you have been promoted this is why we are afflicted because you don't want to prepare you only need it by force life is not like that in the beginning god processed the heaven and the earth no matter how long is the processing product must come out the gold you are putting on today pass through fire am i talking to somebody here is the fire that make gold gold you want to be on top ready to go down first you want to be on top ready to go down first when jesus was risen from the dead the first place is go was here you want to be on top ready to go down first jesus did not go to heaven straight no he go to hell first you want to be on top but you don't want to face any trouble what capacity do you have to stand in the midst of your adversity this is why little challenges change your confession let me read something to you process and progress Thank you, Jesus Christ. Luke chapter 2, verse 40. Father, you promised me that I will be on top. I will be the top, not the down. You promised me that I will be the eyes of my family. He did not promise you. God did not promise anybody anything. Am I talking to somebody here? No matter the promise you think, you must undergo process. No matter what you carry in life, you must undergo process. Whether you fast or not, you must undergo process. Look at the story of Jesus. Verse 40. Everybody want to go. Let's read. And the child grew. And what? And was strong in where? In spirits filled with wisdom and the grace of god was upon him why did he grow why did he undergo process because there is task ahead that was why he grew early at age 12 he grew and was strong in spirit he knew there is task ahead he knew there is work ahead he grew and was strong in spirit filled with wisdom and the grace of God was upon him look at verse 50 verse 50 50 did I say 41 just now okay go to 52 52 and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature. You can see where favor come from. It's when you increase in wisdom and stature. That is where you will be favored with God and men. Are you listening to what I say here? You can see where favor will come. 
is after you increase in wisdom and stature that is where favor will follow you went to you want to be favored when you have not increased somebody come to my office that everybody have abandoned you what are you expecting you are in darkness oh you want people to join you to stay darkness no it's when you are shiny people will come why people love lights am i talking to somebody here the man that received deliverance here on sunday that pastor that was fighting me on sunday he came on tuesday or is it tuesday you hear what i said they you afflicted his health he said there is no way he have not gone to he urinate 12 times every night and his body will be hot his private body will be hot he must go and we will take times before daybreak and his private body hot like fire he said after that prayer that night he did not generate once then he began to tell me man of god why are people avoiding me i am alone in this earth if i'm walking on the way as if i want to fall as if people are avoiding me i say yes because you are in darkness you are not in light when the light of god is in you that light will attract people to you when you are in trouble don't even expect anybody around you because nobody will come am i talking to somebody here it's when jesus increase in wisdom and stature that is where favor begin to come don't expect favor gain when you open business newly what you will expect is shortage because the first thing to come is shortage number one you have not known the business yet the business has not known you shortage is the first thing you will see when you start anything when we start this church people come later they stop they will go because they want to prove you first they want to see you first it's when they begin to see the light of god is shining they start coming back one after the other don't expect success immediately you open shop all you should expect is increase in wisdom and stature then the favor of god will locate you i pray for you may the favor of god locate you in the name of jesus christ be ready to be on that process it doesn't matter the years your process it might be 10 years it doesn't matter my process the days of my process are not your days of your process we are different what you carry is different than mine am i talking to somebody here so no matter what you face don't talk about it be prepared enough for the product ahead am i talking to somebody here let me read another thing to you i don't know why my life is just like this all my mates open shop they are growing my own is going down you don't want to suffer that is your problem but you want to enjoy Proverbs 24 verse 27 Proverbs 24 verse 27 Let's read. Want to go. Prepare thy walk with towns and make it fit for thyself in the feet you can see where building come from to build the house you see where it come from is the last afterward build the house first of all prepare your business prepare your life make it standard strong for yourself 
after. You are living in Abuja, you are gathering money to go have a building house in the village. Is that not waste? Money you should have used to build business is the gain from the business you will use to build your house. You are throwing capital away inside the bush. Prepare thy work. Make it fit for thyself. Afterward, build thy house. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. How prepared are you? Can't you see every youth want to make money? Every youth want to buy a car. Every youth want to become something that they were not they are not prepared for. Are you seeing? Go to a those states. Almost all the youth are mad. Go to the city of Bini. Mad youth everywhere. Why? They want to become what they are not prepared for. There is time for everything. Am I talking to somebody here? Before roofing is foundation. Prepare yourself. Shout amen like thunder. Lift up your hands to heaven. Lift up your hands. If I hear you complaining sometimes, I'll be laughing. I'll be asking myself, does these people think man of God is not suffering? Do they think man of God is not facing challenges? Do they think man of God is a spirit? Man of God, help me. Man of God, pray for me. Man of God, my head. Man of God, my neck. Man of, who is the man of God calling? Jesus. Now you don't want to suffer. Now you know what face what is facing you. I told you three weeks ago. Face your fears. Face what is facing you. It will give you maturity. It will give you experience in life. Shout hallelujah. Be ready for preparation. No preparation, no progress. That is the end of the message. Wave your hands to him. Wave your hands.